without doubt, the most consistent anglers of any discipline are using good bait. And that's what we're here to talk about now, good bait, because there is a major difference between bad bait and good bait. To give you a bit of an insight into mainline, because that's the boilie that I've used for years, uh, they're a bunch of Essex boys, just like me, and they started their firm before I started Calder, and I was fishing a lake called The Grange, and uh, a bait called The Grange came out, and it was called The Grange because it was field tested on that lake. And that particular bait turned anglers that normally get one or two fish a year out of that lake into 20 fish a year anglers. And they hadn't changed anything else that they were doing, it was just the bait they were on was so good. Naturally, I got straight onto it myself. It was rolled for us as well, which was a major, major step forward because rolling your own bait is a tedious task and takes forever. Um, but it was more the fact that it was catching so many fish. And ever since then, I've stuck on it because any bait the boys have ever given me has done really well for me. On any lake, I've fished all over the world with this bait and it has caught loads of fish on every single water. So to talk you through the range, this is how it all started. That is the Grange liquid. That's how it all started and Mainline's theory on bait and their sort of process on bait is completely different to anybody else's. There aren't any strong flavours, there aren't any really potent attractors or anything else. Everything's very subtle and it's nutrition and food based, which means when the fish eats it, it feels good for eating it and then it wants to eat it again and again and again and again. And that's testament to any good bait. If it's catching the same fish over and over and over again, then it's a good bait because the fish love eating it. So to talk you through, after the Grange came out, the next one was Activate, and that is legendary. If you've not heard of Activate, God knows where you've been for the last 10 years, but it's caught everything everywhere. Still a brilliant bait, gets forgotten a lot of time now because there are so many other ones that have come out afterwards. And the way these baits progress, it's not, they don't think let's do a savoury bait or let's do a sweet bait. As new ingredients come available to these guys, that's when a new bait comes out. So if, if they go from a sweet bait one year to the, new, the next new bait is a savoury one, it's because a great new ingredients come available that no one else can get hold of and they put it into a bait and make a different bait. So every year, every couple of years, a new one comes out, but you can carry on using the old ones as long as you want. The grain still catches loads of fish and people forget about it. And then next to Activate is Fusion. That's one that I hold very, very dear to my heart because I won the British Championships on Fusion. Just from the second I started using it, I was catching straight away. Just absolutely superb bait. Again, I've taken it absolutely everywhere from the big French reservoirs down to little tiny lakes spread all around England and caught on it. And then the next one that came out was the Proactive Pineapple. And that was because the pineapple pop-ups that Mainline make are so popular with everybody, they said, can't you make a pineapple bottom bait? So they set about making the Proactive Pro Pineapple. It tastes gorgeous. If you've ever eaten boilies, you can immediately tell when one tastes nice and one tastes horrible. And I eat more than that than I actually chuck in. And the most recent bait out is the Pulse. And the first time I used this, just put a single boilie on, whacked out a million miles on my favourite syndicate and had a 30 straight away. And that was with no bait going in the lake whatsoever. So food baits can also be very instant as well. They're very subtle smells and tastes, but the fish love them. You don't have to have something that's jumping out of the bag at you to get a bite. So if we move back onto the Fusion, I can talk you through all the different things that are available with each bait, because it's not just boilies anymore. There are so many other things available, and this can be applied to any type of fishing. If you're fishing for, for big barbel or big chub or big bream or tench, everything loves this stuff. And that can sometimes work against you if you're a carp angler. You're catching nuisance species as well, but I'd rather catch 10 bream and two carp than no carp at all. So next to the actual boilies, they come in different sizes. You can get them in 12, 16, 18 and 20 mil. Um, and then next to them, you've got the hook bait enhancement. Now you can use that in loads of different ways. One of the things that the guy said at Mainline to do, if you drill a little hole in the top of that bottle and put a baiting needle through and put some baits on it and then leave it in there the, all the time, it hardens the baits up and it actually draws into the baits over time. Now if you just leave them in there and they go really hard, you can't get a needle into them. So if you just keep putting them on the needle and leaving them in there, you can pull a bait on and it's got that little bit of extra zing to it. Now the other thing you can do is just pour it straight onto the bait or straight onto the pellets or if you want to combine this with the dry mix you can mix the two together on the bank just in a bait box and make a fresh paste instantly with it. So there's loads of stuff you can do. It goes in a solid PVA bag as well, it won't melt the PVA bag. So there's a million things you can do with the enhancement system. One of the mistakes I've made in the past on the underwater films is I've soaked the hook baits in the neat attractor. 
That neat attractor is what goes into the actual bait when you're making the boilies. On its own, I think it's too strong. We've actually seen fish on the underwater coming over the top of it and not taking it. Yet the baits that were just, you know, these ones straight out of the bag, they are eaten with gusto. And that's another thing, if you look at any of the underwater films and watch the reaction from the fish to these baits, it tells you just how good they are. So that goes with the base mix, really, really easy to make your own bait if you want to, and obviously it works out a little bit cheaper than buying the ready rolled ones. And then every single one gets its own pop-up, so rather than having to make your own pop-ups, they're done for you. Very buoyant, a mixture of sizes, and they smell very, very similar to the frozen bait. And then very, very recently, and these look like they're going to catch loads of fish, the dumbbells look really, really sexy, these ones and they've done these in a special way where there's no preservative in them at all. So they're shelf life baits, but there is zero preservative in them. That's how clever they are at making bait. And then next down to it, you've got the paste. Now you can use that and just mold it around the hook if you're fishing for smaller species, or you can mold it around a boilie to give it a bit of extra zing. Because when you boil something, you do lock a little bit inside it. If you put a bit of paste around the outside of the boilie, you're getting all that attraction, plus the security of having a boilie on the inside. And then for every single one of these baits, you've got pellets with them as well. They're available in small bags and big bags. And if you chop up the baits and put some pellets with it, that makes a fantastic spod mix. So those are the different options available for each of the baits. I think they pretty much cover every single situation. And if you're not convinced by the underwater films that I've done, the articles that I've written and the TV stuff that we've done using Mainline, just look at anglers like Dave Lane. He's had five different English 50s on five different Mainline baits. And that's what I was saying earlier on, that I'd be happy to use any of the baits because they're all so good. Now, one thing I must point out, the paste and the boilies both need to be frozen. They're fresh bait and they will go off if you don't refreeze them. So what I recommend you do at the start of the session, take them out of the plastic bag, put them into an air dry bag, use them during your session. If you don't use them all, chuck them back in the freezer in the air dry bag and you can use them again a couple more times.